Hello and welcome to this color pass through test video. So I'm showing you what the color pass through is like. This is not the color pass through. This is just gravity sketch. I'll be doing a, a separate video on this. But now I'll move forward. You see the color pass through. So, so let me just leave. I'm literally just going to actually stand up. Leave my controllers here. Around my room. So you're seeing the color pass through now. Hopefully you can hear because the mics over there as you can see. And so we've got hand tracking right now as you can see. But if I move my hands really fast it's not fully in sync. So I know a lot of people are saying no, the pass through is amazing, much better, but no way. No way is it good enough to, in my, in my opinion, you yeah. This is a little torch that I've got. So that's what it looks like. I'm putting light on stuff. Uh, so you can see some shadows. I still need to finish my Star Destroyer Lego. That's the dock. The steam deck. And let's see how well we can read some stuff. Ooh. Disney, phone stand, and the usable grip. Decal well five pound for from um, cord BNM I think it was and my water bottle. Let's see if I can read a bit a different. So the closer it is and it's not very good, but further away, it's not too too bad. Okay, so let me grab a book and we'll see. So let's grab the wealth of nations. See how we go on reading a book. Okay, so close up now. Too far away. Mm, no, nah, it's not practical. I know it's going to be one of the last editions for the book that has pretty small font, but even that, like that, imagine it's a little bit pretty easy to read the rest of it. It's not too easy. Press two, press one, go up the Lego, need to build, put the shelves up on the weekend, look at display, Lego, and a bunch of other stuff. So the Darth Vader will be going over there, plus a DeLorean, level that I got brought there. Yoda was too big because of the lightsaber and because of the roof. And so that's it, so that's the color pass through. I'm gonna show you the transition from the pass through back into the regular Oculus world. So it is pretty seamless if I'm being honest, but there's a long way to go in terms of having it really usable outside of, oh, okay, let's see who's coming to the room, for example, or I need to have a do a quick navigation. But if you're thinking you're going to be working, no matter how, you know, Facebook or Meta of the Code has promoted it as like a headset that you can really do work, work in the real world with pass through reading, definitely no. Even drawing, I wouldn't want to do. I'll do some stuff with Gravity Sketch and some other applications to show you, but honestly, it's not there yet. Nowhere near there yet. I think probably a couple of headset generations, I think it'll get there. I think Quest 3 will make it a bit better. I think Quest 4, Quest Pro 2 will be a lot better. But this is just from this headset. Interesting to see what other headsets do. Interesting to see what PlayStation VR 2 does as well and how that performs because the thing is with the color pass through i saw online and online on a smaller screen <laughs> looks a lot better than when it's literally wedged you know well like an inch or two away from your eyes so that's one thing to bear in mind i'm gonna see how this looks afterwards feel like you'll look better than how it looked for me and yeah that'll be interesting It'll be interesting to see if i can actually maybe read that text even though I couldn't really read it in real life, even though my eyesight is pretty decent. So that's it. This is the Color Pass Through video. Let me know what other Meta Quest Pro videos you'd like to see. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.